The Omaha police force is 53 officers stronger tonight. Officers were sworn in today after successfully completing all of their training. As WOWT 6 News' as Brandon Scott explains, the new officers are expected to play a key role in the city's battle against gun violence. Robert Delutri III. These are the newest members of the police force, 53 men and women, the largest recruiting class in the history of the Omaha Police Department. And they've earned their badges at a time when homicides and gun violence are shaking the city. We talked a lot to this class about they're not just numbers, they are needed personnel to go out there and serve the city effectively. Sergeant Amy Otter helped lead this new class of officers through more than five months of intense training, including physical and endurance exercises, along with high stakes simulations of the dangerous and potentially deadly scenarios faced by officers out on the street. It's been seven months since Officer Carrie Orozco was killed in a gun battle with an armed suspect. And despite a citywide outcry after her death to stop the violence, shootings continue to dominate the headlines. So Chief Todd Schmatter and Mayor Gene Stothert, who both spoke at today's ceremony, have developed a plan to keep expanding the city's police force, with these new recruits and next year's recruiting class set to bring the total number of sworn officers to 851. This is our priority to the, for the, our community. The department has a large presence here at the Northeast Precinct, since most of the city's homicides and violent crimes happen in this area. Area. But as more crimes happen out west, there is a growing need for more officers. <laughs> the murders earlier this month of Destacia Strawn and her young daughter Kanesha, as well as this homicide Thursday, all occurred in northwest Omaha. And part of Mayor Stothard's plan is to station new officers in newer parts of the city. Folks out west, newly annexed areas out west, um, they can be assured that a lot of these officers they will be seeing out in West Omaha. Now that they have their badges, these new officers will be teamed up with training officers who will take them out onto the street and then ease them into their new roles on the force. And Matthew, I should mention, we are live at police headquarters downtown where you'll find this blue tree. It's in honor of fallen officer Carrie Orozco. And when I come back at 630, Matthew, I'll tell you about a special award given to a new recruit today in Officer Orozco's memory.